Power 96.5 and Mix 1080, WUFO, the real thing. I am the first Afro-American woman to own a radio station in all of Western New York, Southern Ontario. Sheila Brown is the owner and president of Vision Multimedia Group, owner of WUFO Radio 96.5 FM and 1080 AM. In 1986, she started at the station as a commission-only salesperson. And then I rose to the sales manager in three years. But then... October 1998, I said, you know what, my time is up after 14 years of working in the industry. And, um, but when I left, I turned to the station and I said, don't worry, baby, I'm gonna come back and buy you. The station was on LaSalle Avenue. For years, she stayed away, but all the while, she was drawing up a plan. She returned as a sales manager with her ad agency. Fast forward, she became interim general manager. She got investors to buy into the station. If I was going to have a stake in the community, I'm going to be the first woman owner to own a radio station. I need to be more visible. 2013, she moved the station close to downtown Buffalo on Broadway next to the Colored Musicians Club in the African American Heritage Corridor. This building that was completely in disrepair became what you see now. What is it like to be a female owner of a radio station in the state of New York? Yeah, it's not always easy, right? Um, a lot of ad agencies is always looking for numbers and where well, you're not showing up here which we have, a, we have a historical station where we have like three, four generation of people that's listening. I mean, you know for yourself, your mom worked here. You were here since you were like three years old. Brown also does some on-air work, but WUFO is a station where some of the greats of radio worked. Frankie Crocker. Frankie Crocker, the chief rocker, Jerry Bledsoe, Velka McCall, Double D, it's Gary Bird, it's Chucky T. Bobby Love. Eddie OJ. So he was a DJ at WFO, and so he had a group of friends that knew how to sing real well. And he said, look, it's a color musician club here. You should come, you should sing there. So when they got here, they didn't have a name. I love music, any kind of music. He said, well, we're gonna name you the OJs. So the famous OJs that everyone knows across the country came from our DJ at WFO. The station has a museum to display its rich history. We do tours right now, the collectives, and we let students come in. They don't know what a 45 is. They don't know what an eight track uh, tape is. They don't a know what a real to real, real right? <laughs> Soon this history will be in the WUFO Black Radio Collectives Museum. Sheila Brown, a local radio pioneer, and she's an author about her journey. If you got a burning in your heart, that you know it's a dream, that you know, and it keeps inking at your heart, mm -hmm. go for it. And then keep quiet. You don't have to share it with everybody. This is a community station, gospel, R&B, talk, and sports. I'm telling you, God has ordered my steps, and it has been nothing but a pleasure.